Hello everybody, it is Winchester24, back with some more generic pornography in the form of another VB log. Woo! Um, so anyway, yeah, it's 8.45, my mom just woke me up because I need you to go look at the car because I'm getting tabs. I'm like, okay. So I had to, like, roll out of bed and run down there and find it. And I'm like, ugh, it's too early for this. I normally don't get up before 9. <laughs> when I do, it's when I have to be to work at 9. And then I'm, like, you know, pretty much sad face. Although I shouldn't say that because I do like working 9 to 5. Because it's a whole lot better than working 12 to 8, because then my entire day is shot. But I don't have to work until 3 today, so... Woo! Kind of like a nice little break, you know, because... The doctor's only going to be there for a half day today, so... Might as well, like, you know, come in for only five hours, that makes more sense. Um, anyway, um, oh yeah, speaking of work, it's so funny. Okay, so, I work at an optical center, right? And, you know, um, after you know you've had your eye exam and everything, I'm pretty sure at least one of you viewers has had an eye exam before. Anyway, you know, um, doctor normally puts, you know, diagnosis codes on, you know, the exam. And generally, um, it, it's really simple. They're most likely, you know, either for, you know, myopia, hyperopia, presbyopia, stigmatism, um, those sorts of codes. Well, anyway, um, the codes that are used are, you know, um, they're specific metal codes, and, um, we have, like, all of them on our computer. Um, because, you know, sometimes, you know, there's other, you know, medical-related things that, you know, might affect the eyes. Anyway, so, you know, one of my coworkers, he was, you know, really in a rush to get, you know, out of the, out of the place, uh, or, because he was off at five, and so he's in a real big hurry. And he decides, okay, he need to get through. He was putting an exam and pulls it through, pays it all off, and then we we go back to it because um, she has an insurance that we don't take. And when we have you know an insurance that we don't take, we have to fill out a paper claim for it. So what that basically is is we write down, or well actually we print it off. The computer does pretty much all of it for us, but then we have to you know write you know, what address to send it to, the insurance information on there, but it has, you know, all the diagnosis codes, and it lists what type of, you know, what she's had done, and all that stuff. That way, you know, we can mail it in for them, and then they can get a reimbursement. I mean, if it's covered. Um, anyway, but, so, we went, or... And of course, you know, this lady, you know, she's kind of frumpy, so she wanted copies of everything. And she's like, okay, like, no one ever asked for copies of the sheets. They, I mean, normally people trust us, but, you know, she was like all, oh, you're probably not going to do it, or something. And, you know, she was also pretty anal retentive, too, so, you know, we wouldn't have put it past her, you know, to take one copy home, look up the diagnosis, because the diagnosis codes are on there. She probably would have looked at those and then seen this code. So anyway, you know, this this code was, um, oh god, I can't remember what it is. It's like 053 point something. Um, anyway, it was for herpes. Pause for laughter. Herpes is what he put on the code. That wasn't anywhere close to what was on our chart. So we had to go back in, try and fix it. Like, it took forever. But we're just like, how did you manage to do that? And he just kept on, he was just like, Oh, I didn't do that. 
I didn't do that. Oh god, how did I do that? And then so my other coworkers just like, oh yeah, yeah, I I like I, I saw you put it on there. And it's just like, why didn't you fucking say anything? Oh my god, we just spent like you know over a half hour at least trying to fix this, and you didn't say anything. Oh, I didn't know. It's herpes. When have we ever diagnosed a patient with herpes? We don't check for that there. Oh my god. Yeah, it was eventful and it was just wow. Oh. Anyway. But yeah, that was Phoenix. My dog likes to be very loud sometimes. I'm sorry. Oh, now she got all moody at me. I don't know if you guys could hear that. Anyway, so let's get on with um, more stuff about, you know, Metroid Abridged. Woo! Anyway, um, so as of right now, you know, Zero Mission being Season 1, I have all the scripts for Season 2 on my jump drive and so I'm going to be shoving this thing inside of my computer in a little bit so I can do some recording of the lines for season two I, I was gonna click that and make it sound good but it didn't want to do it for me before okay um, Anyway, so with that, um, then after I get all the lines recorded, the scripts are longer. Um, there's the first couple episodes, because um, like I said before, like Metroid Zero Mission Abridged had like um, one page scripts, maybe a little over one page. Um, first couple scripts have like two pages like a full two pages, um, se or uh, the others, you know, um, a couple others have only, you know, a full one page, like, you know, like Zero Mission, so I mean, that's not too terribly bad. And, um, then, like, the last one, the last episode has, like, a little over two full pages, so that one's gonna be long. Um, so you guys can look forward to that. Um, I'm not going to disclose what series it is yet because reasons and because, I don't know, it'll probably be fairly obvious to guess. Um, but yeah. Um, and then let's see about comments. Okay, so, um... One of you guys ended up commenting, and I did answer them on the video. Um, it was asked on Metroid Zero Mission of Bridge 3. Um, and so the, uh, he was asking, you know, um, what the ending song was. Um, he also gave me a, a bunch of feedback, too, which I really like. Um, but the question that he asked was... Um, what's the ending song? And I knew I should have, because I was debating it when I was, you know, doing Zero Mission, and I was just like, eh, I, I won't put up, you know, because normally I would do, like, this is the opening song, this is the ending song, and I didn't do it that this time, mostly because I got really fucking lazy when doing the ending credits, because I wanted to get one of the episodes done. And... I kind of work in sequence, like, I started off, you know, with the blank page for the episode, and then I realized, oh, I need the opening. Went, put together opening, rendered that, put it in there, edited it all the way up towards the end, and just like, shit, I need an ending. So then I went, edited that, threw that together, put that in there, and then popped it on. So, I mean, I was, like, super close to the end of one episode, 
and then I wanted to, you know, I was kind of hurrying through it. Um, but yeah, anyway, the ending song is Naraku no Hana by Eiko Shimamiya. Um, and let's see here. And the opening song, opening song, you can just go, that's the Metroid metal theme. Or the Metroid theme by Metroid Metal. Stim, steamage. Stemage. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I can't, I never figured, no, knew, learned how to pronounce his name correctly, mostly because I don't have like a pronunciation guide on his name. <sighs> oh, did I mention it's like 8.56 and I'm like never up this early? Yeah. Um, anyway, so, I don't know, I'm at least happy that there's a little bit more to talk about. You know, I had some stories to share with you guys that made this vlog or v blog a little bit more interesting, I hope. Um, otherwise, you know, I don't know quite what else to talk about. Just know that I am going to be working on Season 2. Um, and then after the end of, after the last episode of Zero Mission, um, I might, I, I'm still debating on it, I might have just like a week where I don't post anything and then start posting up season two kind of like as a little transition phase and also gives me a little bit more time to do stuff um I'll probably already have all the episodes done by then because I just uploaded episode three um so we're like halfway through season one now um so yeah I mean I have like at least three weeks to, you know, pretty much complete, complete prime. I just told you what season two was, so, ha ha ha, spoilers. Yeah, I totally didn't mean to do that, but I'm going to leave it in here because I'm too lazy to edit it out, so that's my own fault. Um, but anyway, have fun because... Yeah, I just told you stuff that I'm going to be working on, so. Um, hmm. Anyway, um, let's see here. Um, next episode of Metroid Zero Mission Abridged, episode four. Because, yeah, that's right. Three was just uploaded. So, episode four will be uploaded um, Wednesday, July 3rd. Um, and then the next, the B-Log will be uploaded next Friday, um, July 5th. So keep those dates in mind. Um, remember to subscribe and leave me feedback. Um, just like Armando Chrisman said, or left me feedback. He left me feedback. He was the one who asked the question about, you know, the ending song. Um. And that's awesome. I appreciate your feedback very much, Armando. And, you know, for Prime, I'm taking into consideration, you know, what, you know, you know what you said. Because there are some more scenes, you know, where they have, you know, the translation. Um, so I, I'll make those things bigger. Because I have, like, a huge monitor. I have, like, a 22 and a half inch monitor. And not everyone has that. And so when I'm working on stuff, I kind of am thinking full screen all the time and I don't really you know take into consideration that some people don't like to watch it full screen they just like to watch it like in the little thing and even full screen it can sometimes be small um so I'm gonna make those bigger probably at least double the size um and I'm gonna try and add a more defiant high highlight around that um I think there might be just a couple blurbs like, I don't think there's any more translation in Zero Mission. Actually, there isn't any trans more, like, translation in Zero Mission. All that translation stuff is done. But there's, like, a couple little, like, notes. There's at least two. Um, and those are just pretty tiny and out of the way because they're meant as kind of, like, a little just side snipe remark. Um, but I just can't fix those because they're <laughs> already edited. Sorry. Um, but I will definitely do it for Prime. Um, but yeah, so everyone else, let me know what your feedbacks are 
your feedback and your comments are because I will go and, you know, I will, you know, try and... If it's something that I can do and that, like, isn't really a big thing, um, um, I will go ahead and I'll, you know, I'll try and make it happen. Um, because I'm always looking for feedback and everything. Um, just no, like, obvious, you know, no's and stuff like that, like, oh, well, you should, you know, change voice actors for this and that. I'm just like, no, that's... No. I can't remember one time before, you know, someone asked me, you know, oh, we'll get a different voice for Samus, and I'm just like, you know, no. I like the voice for Samus. You can deal. <laughs> anyway, I'm digressing, and this video is getting to be probably about over 16 minutes now because of that. Um, so I apologize. Um, thank you for watching. And, yeah, just make sure to subscribe, leave feedback. Um, even if you don't subscribe, leave feedback, leave comments. I love comments. I'm a comp. Comments are like cookies for me. Om nom 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 nom. Yeah, yeah that was me nomming. Anyway, um, this is Winchester24, and I want to see you guys all later.